Amen. I want to announce to you that God has answered your prayer. God has answered our prayers. How many of you have been praying for Nigeria? How many of you have been praying against war in Nigeria? Your prayers have reached heaven. Your prayers have reached heaven. And God has come down to intervene by himself. And I know that the God that has begun will complete it successfully. Fear not. The matter is over. The Lord says, I should not fear. He says, I should not worry. He says, I should trust him. Jesus says, oh, oh yes, the Lord says, I should not fear. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. He said, I say Jesus says Never never worry he said you should trust him Jesus says all shall be well The Lord says we should not fear He says we should never worry He says we should trust him Jesus says all I say the Lord says we should not fear. Hallelujah. He says. Oh yes, thank you, Father. Oh yes, thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh yes, thank you, Holy Ghost. I believe for sure. I say, oh yes, thank you, Father. Oh yes, thank you, Father. Amen. Oh yes, thank you, Holy Ghost. I believe all shall be well. Oh yes, thank you, Father. The Lord says we should not fear. We, we, we. We should not fear. All shall be well. The Lord says we should not fear. Hallelujah. Say we should trust you. Jesus says, Lord. I say. The Lord says we should not fear. Hallelujah. He said we should trust him. Oh yes, oh yes, thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Oh yes, thank you, Holy Ghost. I say, oh yes. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, thank you, Holy Ghost. Amen. Because I know he holds Nigeria. You are going to hear revelation today.
you can be seated. I give thanks to the Almighty God for the favor we have found with Him. We thank Him that loves us so much and is always with us. He gives us relevant information. be to the almighty God for the information he has given to us this Sunday morning <laughs> Sunday 24th of September 2017 Amen. We are plagued with traits of wars, religious and tribal wars. Citizens of this country appear to be in confusion. Many are afraid, running up and down. Yet, we need peace in Nigeria for the sake of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. And we have been crying out, Oh Lord, spare Nigeria for the sake of your righteous children. Now we have added, Spare Nigeria for the sake of your righteous ministers. They're working for you. And we, we are succeeding. The people are coming to Jesus. The devil wants to interrupt. Oh Lord, don't, don't agree. If there's no peace, the ongoing holiness revival movement worldwide will be affected Nigeria is the hope of Africa and the hope of the world at large as far as end time salvation of souls and holiness of the church is concerned Satan wants to destroy human souls to hell by bringing woes to our good nation. And when we saw this holiness revival movement in Nigeria gathered all the state coordinators of holiness revival movement and selected prayer warriors to go before the Lord. How many of you are aware of this? How many of you were aware? We began last week, Tuesday, and ended Friday night. And you saw the coordinators here, is that? They came to seek the face of the Lord. I want to say the good Father has made revelation. And now the matter so clearly has been handled by God. We were before the Lord for prayers and fasting, crying unto God for the safety of our nation, for the Lord to give us time more for gospel work. So, 
God has heard. And thanks be to God who this morning has made revelation concerning Biafra. Amen. He has made revelation concerning the sponsors of Biafra. It will surprise you the majority of the sponsors are not Igbo people. It will be a surprise. Only God knows, knows the secret of men. You are going to stand up and go before the Lord as we welcome the daughter of God, our beloved sister Linda. Who will come out and make beer the mind of God, the world of the living God. We never knew that he will answer us this way, my dear. Oh, yes. Thank you, my love. Amen. Oh my God Jesus Christ We never knew you will reveal it this way my God Oh my God Amen. It shall be well in Jesus' name. Everlasting Father, we thank you for another time. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. We thank you for choosing Nigeria. We thank you for loving Nigeria. We thank you that, Lord, you are not holding your peace till you see Nigeria come to righteousness. May your name be highly lifted up in Jesus' name. Everlasting Father, we thank you for this revelation this morning because this is what you want your children to know and how they will know how to pray to you. Father, we pray, let your name be glorified. Take control. Those that will disbelieve, oh God, open their eyes and let them believe it and save their soul. Thank you, Everlasting Father, for in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I greet you all in the name of Jesus. May the Lord bless you all as you are here in Jesus' name. Amen. I am not here to talk about politics, but God has sent me, the owner of your soul, the creator of all soul, and the final judge of all souls. God is not happy by the way his children are dying how Satan and his agent are slaughtering innocent people every day. Many souls have been brainwashed. Many souls have been deceived. Many souls have been bewitched. Jesus has chose Nigeria for his last work. Satan too have decided to bring confusion, war, disagreement among the people because he don't want this revival to continue all these things that is happening in nigeria many people are blind towards it thinking that is god but the lord wants us to know today that many of us as a christians who were busy praying only against boko haram boko haram 
and Satan have given us work. We are busy on one side, he have by court behind us and raise up another thing to do another worse thing. Hallelujah. As Pastor Porika have said earlier on, our daddy in the Lord, we were in a prayer, the coordinator, they were around. Some of you saw them when they came here the last day. On Friday, that was the last time of the prayer since Tuesday. I was opportune to join them for the prayer, so we were praying for Nigeria, that God, to visit Nigeria, that God should not allow any war because of the rumor that is going up and down of the plans of the Muslims. We were really praying for God to take over the situation, for God to pity the innocent one. God should tell us what to do. God should visit Nigeria. Hallelujah. And God has answered our prayer. By the grace of God, we know many of you eyes will be open because the Lord said that many of his children have been deceived by this Biafra thing. And the ba Jesus told me today that go and tell them, woe unto those that are calling evil good and good evil. The thing that is bad, you are supporting it. Because of tradition, because of tribalism, you are not following him, the way of God. And a child of God should not be tribalism, should not be following anything that is satanic, but you should follow the truth and follow him, Jesus. This morning, by the grace of God, before I say what the Lord showed me, as for me, Sister Linda, many of you have known me since 2013. That is how the Lord said to me, from today, I'll be using you to reveal many things, to speak to my people. Your body is not your own. And this is how God has been doing by his grace, to reveal, coming to me and reveal things to me. What I'm going to say here today, many will not like it like before 2013, how God used me to expose some pastors. Many were angry, many were saying all kinds of things, but by the grace of God, I'm receiving some calls those times, that some of them that went into prayer, is it true what this sister is saying? God able to open their eyes, and some of you that are here, by the grace of God, you were like them before, but when God revealed to you personally concerning these people, you now believe that this lady was sent by God. By the grace of God, I've given myself to Christ, suffering and whatever thing that will come out of it. But I know that when the Lord speaks, who am I to keep it? I must reveal it because why Jesus is revealing it's because when people are dying in sin, he's not happy. They are not going to heaven. He created us for us to dwell with him in heaven. But Satan has brought many things, diverse things on earth that is killing people every day and God is not happy with it at all. So as for me, this is my own word for people that will be saying, who is this person? Isaiah chapter 62. This is what the Lord said. Isaiah chapter 62, verse 1, 6, and 7. For Zion's sake will I not hold my peace. For Jerusalem's sake, I will not rest until the righteousness thereof go forth as brightness and the salvation thereof as a lamb that burneth. I have set a watchman upon the walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence and give him no rest till he establish until he make Jerusalem a praise in the heart. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, I don't know why God chose me as a watchman in the kingdom of God, in the body of Christ, in my own little corner. There are many prophetess, there are many children of God there, there are many people that have gotten revelation to. Some of you too, God have been using you in your own way to deliver many. So in my own way, this is how the Lord decided to show me things, not only one time, many things. 
So I'm not here talking about politics. I'm not in support of anything. But what the Lord said, go and say to my people, is what I'm saying here today. Praise the Lord. In the vision of God today, being the 24th, September 2017, I saw myself driving up a hill with two workers in this ministry, two brothers. We were going somewhere. Immediately, I saw myself in a shrine. I saw young men and little children. All of them are putting on palm trees leaf. They make the palm tree leaves like a skirt. And from their belly up to their chest, their body was bared naked. And they decorate it with this white clay. They rub clay on their body. But down was they wear a palm tree leaf. They get the way out, they do it. And then one of the little girls woke up to me. Maybe she thought that I'm there for something. One little girl woke up to me and she said, Are you here for power? I will teach you how to do magic. I said, no. And I told the two brothers that there was with me. And I said, we are in the wrong place. This is not where we are looking for. So immediately we, we want to take our leave. I noticed I was alone, surrounded with men. These men, they were putting on the same palm tree. And these ones, they were having the palm tree in their mouth. It's like they are not talking, but it's to close their mouths. It was there. And they were looking at me, very furious. It's like if you, if you shake or do anything, it will kill you here. So they surrounded me like this. Immediately, immediately, a man appeared like a breeze, like a wind. I don't know where it came from. It just came, it's like the wind just brought him and stood in front of me. He was putting on a white, a white skirt, but this skirt have like the design was line, black, white, line, like that. And they saw it for him like a skirt, a gather skirt. And his, his belly and his chest was bare naked. And he was putting on charm on his neck, on his hand. And then I saw the same skirt he's wearing, the same material, he put it on his shoulder, like a scarf. And then he asked me, do you know me? What are you doing here? Who sent you? Three questions at a time. I was unable to speak, but looking at him face to face, in my heart I say, I know this man. But speechless, why I did not speak, I don't know why. What helped me not to speak, I don't know. When he asked me the question, what am I doing here? He was thinking that maybe I'm a spy. Because it was in a, a, a thick place. It's like we miss our way, enter into a shrine. So he was asking me, maybe nobody knows that way to go there. What am I doing there? Who sent me? That time I was alone, I did not see the two brethren again. And then he too kept quiet. After he had asked me this question, I was not able to speak to him. I was just standing. The boys, they surrounded me and they were looking at me, shaking like this, like any command of him, their leader, they would descend on me. So he quietly, after he asked me this question, he too kept quiet and was looking at me. Immediately, a tiny calm inner voice spoke to me and said he is reading your mind you don't need to introduce yourself he is checking who you are standing before him like this he will know who you are so I was standing there for him to do what he was doing he was looking at me as the voice now let me to know why is he looking at me he's not asking me any question again in the spirit realm he's checking who I am and then after some time, after some minutes, he said to me, you are not part of us. You are looking different. I've checked. We did not see you among us. Who sent you here? So I was still speechless. Why? I did not know. 
And then he now said, he said, I am Namdi Kano. My heart is disturbed. This is not what I thought things will go. They have led me into it. Immediately as he was talking, I saw on his chest, it's like a movie. Something, it's like his chest began to play a movie for me. I began to see all about his life, his past life, and how he became the leader of Biafra. Everything was playing on his belly for me. I was seeing everything. This is what I saw in this vision the Lord showed me. Immediately I saw on his chest like a video showing me all the secrets of how he started this move, Biafra. In the beginning, he was not the leader of Biafra from the beginning. I saw he was a calm gentleman but have desire of being great. He has a mind. There are some people that have mind to do anything. So after that, I saw four influential rich old Nigerian men and three white men in dialogue in a meeting who they will use to establish their plan. One of them, I was, on, I was able to recognize his face. The other, the other one was looking like a Fulani man. All of them, this, these four men, Nigerian leaders, all men, were putting on Agbada. The other one that I was able to recognize, he has been a old president in Nigeria, is now Amson. Amen. And then, after I recognize him, the others, if I see their pictures, I will be able to recognize them. But I don't know them. But the other one, his face was looked like a Fulani man. Some of them, and then I saw four, three white men with them together. Some of them have been a power, have been in power, and do not know how to regain power and control over the people again. In their cult, they pick up Namdi Kano and call him for a meeting. In this, this three, these four Nigerian influential people, rich people, old men, I saw with them again three white men sitting in a meeting that they want to start something that they will be in control. But they don't know who is the person. They cannot do it because Nigerians have known them. So they need somebody that have mind that they can sponsor. So in their spirit realm, they're able to locate Namdi Kanu. Immediately, I saw one of them call him on phone, this gentleman. When they call him, immediately again, I saw them in a meeting with him, Kanu. And then this man that I recognize, this old leader of Nigeria, former leader of Nigeria, asked him a question. Do you want to be a leader? Do you want your own people to follow you and to lead, and you want, people to, you want to lead people? And then this young man replied them, that is Kano. He said, I do not have the money to advocate a country of my own. These people, these four black and three white, told him they will sponsor him but he should not mention their names all the money and influence influence he need they will give it to him but before contract is signed he should join them into their evil cult i saw and he agreed and i saw these people carry him and told him it he should enter into the sea and make love with one fat, ugly woman inside the sea. Before, I saw him, it's like he was fearing. 
and then they push him inside and told him you are going to do it so that you can have mind and boldness enter and make love with her don't be afraid you will like it as you continue they all started laughing when he started making love with her in the beginning he was afraid later as the thing continued fear vanished from his heart after the word of the woman after making love with her the woman now said i will back you up i will give you word anything you want to say you will listen to me i will give you word i will give you power anything you say people will follow you after this they carry him to a cold dark room i saw they shed or kill a new person he in the canoe was the one that did the killing all for him to have mind not to have pity for anybody after doing it they say he should drink it so that his heart will be bold will not have no pity till he gets what he wants now after he finished i saw them telling him now your mouth is filled with power people will believe you and even they can die for you go and deceive lie to them raise up their hope tell them their dreams that they are looking from a leader and then these nigerian leaders this old influential rich man said to him we will tell you secret things of night of the country and you will reveal and expose it they you will tell them it's the law that is given to you they will believe because these are secret things that have been hidden but we will tell you you will reveal it and the people will we will love you because this is what they want for long don't fear prison or any fight that will come up we will we will bring you out anywhere you are the money you need for anything we will give you and later after they finish this they told him from now on you will be on salary they will be paying him because he's a mission person working for them even if we speak evil against you they were telling kanu even if we speak evil against you openly don't surprise we are one in the dark world your plan is to suppress this government bringing problem after doing this don't be afraid they will not have any option but to call you to dialogue and we will tell you what you will tell them what you want this is what we have been wishing for so after you have suppressed them the leaders they will not have any option because of peace they will call you for dialogue and we will tell you what position and what you want don't be afraid it will work because this is how this our president did by using Boko Haram to frustrate president Jonathan and it got it we have prepared people all over the world to support you don't be afraid and they say come and see they now carry him and then i saw in the same belly i saw pastors of different kinds and nation they told them from today you people will go and be prophesying to the people that namdi is sent by god tell people to believe in him so namdi now was shocked to see pastors that he did not believe they were cultic people i heard him saying it in his chest as the video was showing me he was surprised to see the pastors he now said jesus don't have power he was shocked to see leaders great pastor in cult with him and then they told him we will play our part for you everybody we will be telling the people prophecy and revelation 
to support you. All of us are one. And then they told him, you will be the one bringing blood to the court from now to fortify you for more power. He agreed. And then the three white men I saw there told him that they will support him. They will take him to international level. But all they need, if they deal work, they only interested over the oil business. And then he agree everybody, if the thing work, he will be, he will listen to all of them, their needs. And then they sent him to start. They tell him where he will start a problem. And then after he finish, the thing close. He now started talking reality to me. He now said, my heart is disturbed. I don't know where to go to. I'm not in peace. This is not what I plan. Seeing people dying. I thought it was just a threatening thing that they would call up for us. But now, the way things is taking shape, I am not happy. And they have led me to it. How will I come out now? People I think that I will run to for, for them to help me. I've saw, seen many of them are in cult with me. Who will help me now? After he said this, the voice of the Lord came to me and said, many of my children are believing that I am the one sending Namdi or I am the one behind him by the false pastors and their prophecy they are giving to the world. Many of my people have been supporting evil, thinking I'm the one. These people are not of me. All of them are the same. Pray to me, I will give you peace. I will give you peace. And then he said, tell my people that know me, and they have now decided to follow evil, supporting and like talking for it, supporting it, arguing for it, that they are sinning because my word have said, woe unto those that we call evil, good and good evil, that this man is all plan of the devil, just as the plan of Boko Haram is of the devil. My children should be on the Lord's side, not to support evil. I, the Lord, have chosen Nigeria. This is all the plan of the devil to destroy you people. And you people are the ones supporting Satan to destroy you. But because of the righteous, I, the Lord, will not hold my peace. Because of the righteous in Nigeria, I, the Lord, will give them peace. Tell my children to be on the Lord's side and to remove themselves from everything that they are supporting that is evil. Biafra is not of God and God is not happy with it. I am the God of peace, not war. I am the God of love. I am the God of peace. Tell my children that know me not to support evil move, not to support anything that will kill innocent soul. I, the Lord, have spoken. Let them pray to me. I will expose and bring peace to Nigeria and give them the right leader that they have been praying for. Praise the Lord. As for the evil pastors, Namdi was saying that he's surprised to see pastors that he was thinking that pastors are righteous, but he was surprised to see pastors in cult. So where can he run to now that this thing was not like what he thought it would be? He's not happy the way people are dying. But where can he run to now? And the pastors, he believed that pastors, when they say pastors, there are people that can, he can run to. He was surprised to know all of them are in cult. So some of this revelation, because some people say there are revelation going up and down, pastor telling people they should support him. I want to tell you, Jesus has told you, he is not the God that is behind this thing. Not the God of Boko Haram, neither Biafra or Niger Delta. He is a God of peace. 
that some of these pastors that they are talking for him as i've said i've read it that this is what they told them in the court that everybody go and play your part they have employed them to save revelation vision so all this revelation that is coming from some of them are saying the lord told me the lord it is not the lord jesus it is their court lord that is giving them assignment to bring much people to support biafra and jesus said i am not the god of war amen Amen. Amen. The Lord has spoken, and that's final. We shall have peace. Amen. In the book of uh, Amos, chapter 3, the Bible says, verse 7, Surely the Lord God will do nothing but he revealed his secret unto his servants the prophets surely the lord god will do nothing he revealed his secrets unto his servants the prophets the lion had roared roared who will not fear the lord god has spoken who can but prophesy it's god that made revelation we shall fear no man nigeria shall hear this all over the world they shall hear this to know that there is a god that revealed secret many of these pastors that are in occultism and I'm moving with these other people that say the, that God does not exist. Does the Almighty know? Is there knowledge in the Most High? God has shown that He has known. And the lion has caught. God has roared. Judgment will follow this statement. Judgment will follow these revelations. Any man satan himself could not stand heaven he could not stand god and he has not he's going to hell straight any man that wants to do evil in this country my brother god will handle him all these political principalities that think to bring peacelessness to the nation because they want to prolong their lives maybe it's time for them to die they want to cause national war and bloodshed and go and give devil and protect, protect their lives they want to maintain power our god shall cause their power to cease <laughs> if one man wants to spare himself so that multitude should die that one man must go <laughs> there is a law of redemption the law says it is better than one better than one man should die than a, that a whole nation perish not all those people all those few people that want to cause perishing in our nation bloodshed the blood of innocent children me old men and women youth that and on all to perish in this nation they are the one to perish they are the one to perish let judgment be released right now rise up upon your feet judgment will be released judgment will be released the judgment of god shall be released upon them the judgment of god shall be released upon them all the political principalities fire of god judgment shall follow them darkness shall take over them coming shall take over them divine judgment from god from god shall take over them shall take over them shall take over them whatever religion they belong to the only god and the lord jesus shall tread them on their feet break their stronghold and this they shall be ashamed their families shall be ashamed those that survive by the mercy of god they shall be ashamed they shall be ashamed 
we pray. The walls of Jericho fell down flat. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. And every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord. To the glory of God the Father. They are busy telling them to, to, to make nothing out of Jesus. We are sending the name of Jesus to their camp. All those human beings that think they have power, let them hold their power. Power is coming on them. I said power is coming upon them. Everybody release the name of power. Jesus! Call that name, call that name, call that name the kingdom of darkness. Call it upon the light, call it upon the light, the name of Jesus, the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, let them collapse, let them collapse, let them collapse, let them collapse, let them collapse by the name of Jesus. Fire! The name of Jesus, the name of Jesus. Judgment by the name of Jesus. That in Jesus. That in Jesus. Pull them up by the name of Jesus. Pull them up. Don't do them by the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus, the name of Jesus, the name of Jesus, they must bow, hey, bow, by the name of Jesus. Jesus name we pray Namdi has revealed that he is sorry but his sorry must not be that of Judas Iscariot otherwise he will perish he gave himself to Satan to deceive him and he went against Jesus he made nothing out of Jesus. He must run and escape for his soul. Otherwise, he will perish. Who is she that will challenge the, the, the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings, the Almighty God Jehovah? Who is Namdi that challenged the Jehovah, that, the Creator of life? Who is she? If he loves himself, let him run and confess. Otherwise, the Lord shall pick him up and make a total show of him. The Lord shall make a total show of Namdi. The Lord who is greater than those demons behind him. The God of heaven shall appear for his judgment. Let Namdi confess. Let Namdi come out. Open your mouth and pray.
Namdi and all of those his principles if any one of them will repent confess and turn to Jesus may the Lord forgive them yeah. to show how God is patient with man to show others also that if they can come God can forgive them too so we are going to pray if they will sincerely repent and turn to Jesus and do their restitution the Lord shall forgive them open your mouth and pray thank you Jesus thank you Jesus release your power Lord release your mercy Lord release your grace Lord release your authority Lord pastors that are gathering crowds under them to damn them calling themselves bishops and overseers Namdi said no he went to thinking they have big name they can deliver him nobody is among them they are all occultic people we want to pray the Lord will expose them the Lord will expose them their members shall fight them their members shall fight them they will never escape. Rise, pray. Open your mouth and pray. Namdi Kano know that the Lord has preserved him 7,000 men in Nigeria. 7,000 ministers of the gospel. Pastors of various levels that have never kissed Baal. That are not occultic. That are sincere with our God. Let, let's pray God will direct Kano if he repents and wants salvation. God will direct him to his faithful servant. One of these faithful servants in the country who is not occultic and Kanu shall be saved. Kanu shall be delivered. Kanu, Kanu shall be preserved. If he desires so, open your mouth and pray the Lord will guide him. Conviction shall continue upon him. Conviction shall continue upon him. In the name of Jesus. Smite. Jesus name we pray 
if you are an evil man here, raise up your hand. Evil woman, evil man, raise up your hand. Raise it up very well, evil men, women. We are going to pray that the in judgment remember mercy. Those evil men that are under the divine judgment for following a blasphemer, somebody blaspheming the living God, and you are heralding him. You are not different from demons that are following Satan. They are under divine judgment because they chose an enemy of God with all the good things God has been doing for evil men, with all the investment, all the intelligence, all the blessing He has been giving them. They are choosing, they are choosing a blasphemer, one that cursed Jesus is their own Lord, is their own Savior. I'm praying that those who are still alive, the Lord shall have mercy. Open your mouth and pray the Lord will forgive them. The Lord will have mercy upon them. In judgment, remember mercy. In judgment, remember mercy. The stubborn one of them shall not escape. Because they have touched the Lord. They have touched the Lord. The creator of their lives. Somebody who cursed the Lord is their friend. They submitted to him to be their leader. The church in the east, you must pray for them. Their eyes were blinded. They were following after an injurious person. One that cursed Jesus. That said Jesus was not the Christ. That said Jesus was not the Lord. Commonism. And the church did not rise up against that man. The church in the east did not rebuke that man. Did not rebuke his voice. They were dancing to him. Politically blinded. Judgment. The Lord is angry with them. But let's pray. The Lord should forgive them. The Lord should forgive them. The stubborn one of them shall not escape. was this principle the northerners used to be able to take over government Ju the same judgment shall follow all those who wasted blood in this country because they must rule because they must have authority all those ones judgment will pass through judgment will pass through judgment will pass through except they repent otherwise our God has arisen up God has arisen we shall know who is who. Whether Satan is God or the Lord is God. We shall know who is Lord. Whether anyone else or Jesus is Lord. Everybody said Jesus is Lord. Release his power. Release his power. Release his power. Release his power. To the west, to the east, to the north, to the south, to the central even outside the country let everybody recognize the power of jesus everybody fear jesus power is coming on your way power is coming on your way power is coming on your way the power of heaven the power of heaven is descending upon you is descending upon your family is descending upon the works of your home is descending upon everything is descending upon your shrine is descending upon your idols the power of jesus the power of the lord same judgment except they repent except they repent except they repent and confess do their restitution the same judgment 
the same judgment. Victorious, yes, we are victorious. Glory be to God who has given us victory, the victory. To the Lord in faith, we we pray to the Lord in faith, brother. Victorious, yes, we are victorious. Glory be to God who has given us victory, the victory. Sing the victory. I am covered with the blood, the blood of Jesus. I say we are covered with the blood, the blood of Jesus. I say you are covered, you are covered with the blood of Jesus. I say she is covered with the blood, the blood of Jesus. We are covered with the blood. I say I am covered up and down with the blood of Jesus. I say you are covered up and down with the blood of Jesus. I 
I say you are covered with the blood, the blood of Jesus. Covered with the blood, covered with the blood. You are covered with the blood, the blood of Jesus. Covered with the blood. Covered with the blood. I say you are covered with the blood, the blood of Jesus. Covered with the blood. Covered with the I say you are covered with the blood. The blood of Jesus Cover with the blood Blood I say I am covered with the blood The blood of Jesus Cover with the blood Cover with I say we are covered up and down With the blood of Jesus Worship the Lord. Glory to his name. Hey. I say you are covered up and down with the blood of Jesus. Cover with the blood. I say we are covered and about with the blood of Jesus. Cover with the blood. I say we are covered left and right with the blood of Jesus. Worship the Lord. Glory to his name. Hey! Oh yeah, we are covered all our head with the blood of Jesus. You are covered in and out with the blood of Jesus. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Brother, you are covered in and out with the blood of Jesus. We are covered with the blood, the blood of Jesus. Hey, worship him, worship him. Holy Mary, you are covered with the blood, the blood of Jesus. Worship him, worship him. Glory to his name. Holy Mary, you are covered up and down with the blood of Jesus. Coordinators, you are covered in and out with the blood of Jesus. Worship Him. We are covered with the blood. We are covered with the blood. We are covered. We are covered with the blood. In the blood of Jesus. Worship. Children, you are covered with the blood. In the blood of Jesus. Women, you are covered with the blood. In the blood of Jesus. You are covered with the blood, the blood of Jesus. Worship Him. This is good. This is good. Oh yeah, I am covered with the blood, in the blood of Jesus. Hey, worship. Hey, Linda. You are covered with the blood, the blood of Jesus. Worship him. Hey, hey, glory to his name. Porica, you are covered with the blood, the blood of Jesus. Covered with the blood, covered with the blood. We are covered. Up and down with the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah! Hey, Gary, I say we 
mighty Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Angels of God should do their work. Angels of God to do their work among us. Worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey. hey. Praise the Lord. I uh, really need to appreciate God for this wonderful revelation and mystery the Lord has revealed to us. I know many years back we were also thinking about what generated the Afra War. We also discovered that it was the same set of people that were raised to use Ojuku. That in the sense that if he strike and he succeed, the country will divide. Everyone will go their own way. But when they discovered that it was, another, it was going to another direction, they backed out. So he was left alone. So all those that promised to support him backed out. That was the cause of that war. It's not supposed to last more than a few days. So when she was revealing this, my mind went back to those things. And now they fear that the other side is failing. They are coming to this side. So by the time this side come up, they will still find fault. Because they don't want to leave that seat. The issue that they have made covenant, Nigeria is for them. But thank God, the Lord is involved in the matter. I also maybe appeal again to you, sir. The prayer point you gave to us, you need to write another one. Let's continue with that prayer. So that, look at, we finished our program yesterday. This night, God revealed to us, show us the solution that we need to pray more. So more prayer is required. 
And like what he said, these people, they have power. And they are made able to believe that without them, Nigeria cannot stand. So our prayer, we make them to know that without them, Nigeria can still exist. Nigeria is in the hands of the Lord, not in their hands. When Daniel was praying, Prince of Persia came to disturb him. But he prayed through. God had to send angel to release the prince. I mean the, the other angel. Say go. And he said, I'm going back to fight him. So I believe these four people will take them up in prayers. We take them up in prayer. And those three white men will stand for three nations. They are backing him up. So when we bring these three nations, white nations, and these four people in Nigeria, God will still defeat them. For God to reveal to us, show that he has defeated them, if we also take our stand to pray the more. Because you cannot experience war again. And I've been praying, God, I don't want to experience war again. At all. I will pray the little I can pray. Because I don't want to experience war again. So, so I want to thank you. Like what I was saying the other day, God brought Mommy Linda to us to save Nigeria, to save the war, and to save us as believers. And God also knew that with, with you, we are courageous. With you, we are confident. God using you, we can stand and to say something. Like what he said, that is the basic truth. After castigating the person they raise, you feel that they are supporting you. But at the end, it's like beating your son. You go back and say, don't worry about the same. Go and do more. That's what they are doing. Now their secrets have been revealed and they must fail. They will bow in the name of Jesus. Amen. Um, actually, it's, uh, it's something to give glory to God that uh, that this great honor is being shown to uh, to uh, with the affairs of this country that we are in the authority to dictate to you know to to to, to, to dictate and indeed be able to be the virtues or the uh, the instrument the Lord will use to rectify to bring peace and joy in this country a privilege and the one thing I want to say is this when you look at the first war that came the first Biafran war it will be amazing that the same group of people again who suffered and died in their thousands and the hunger almost a human being became the, in fact, became skeleton, human skeleton. If you see children, you pity them. How can they come again to be talking of another Biafra? And they are poisoned for war again. It's amazing. So this revelation is showing that it is the, it is the hatred they have on the Igbo. That's why the outside people from outside Igbos are the ones sponsoring this. So that will make the Igbo tools again for mass destruction. So it's, it's wonderful that God is revealing this to us. So that I wish that with this will be made public. So that the Igbos will know that they be fools to dance to the tune of this man who is in the kingdom of darkness and the devil is, 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 is packaging this to destroy them and make them to be victims to they approve the programs of the devil to, 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 to suck blood in this country. So we are grateful to God. It's wonderful, like a mystery. Like, uh, it's, like a, it's like a film being played for us to see the, the, the other side of everything that is in the world. So it's wonderful. So I appreciate God. And uh, I know God, who is one that brought this revelation, will back it up too. Uh, yes, so that yes, it, yes. Will have, it, will, it will it will it will fulfill its purpose the purpose to save the Igbo race so they know that it is not them it is out, those from outside that are there 
trying to make them to be tools of mass destructions. So we are grateful to God. We appreciate God. It's wonderful. Thank you very much. Any other person? Okay, I'm brother. Praise God. I'm overwhelmed. I don't know how to thank this great God. Amen. You know, uh, the other night uh, when we were in the prayer retreat, we prayed our hearts out and we believed God that God had us. This is a consolation. I didn't know that God has even done this when uh, he was testifying that in Kaduna that they are no, the, the small people are no longer loyal to the people in, the, in authority. And then I didn't know that God has equally packaged this one again. In fact, I don't know what to say. I thank God. I am overwhelmed. I don't know what to say. Because hmm, this God, I'm afraid of him. He can do much more than we can ask or imagine. Can you imagine people the devil just trying to send people to hell and to clear a race. <laughs> I thank God. God is with us in this place. And I know he that has begun this work is able to perfect it. Yeah. Um, I am, in fact, the, the, there was this time during the Salah time, you know, people were calling me, we should come home, blah, blah, blah. I was afraid. Until we went to Nanya, God said we should pray for, 30, for 15 minutes and we should leave the rest for him. That same God has not gone to sleep. And he, will, he has continued and will ever, forever, keep this country. My cry, when these things were going on, was the revival that was coming. Because where we, this revival cannot grow, cannot go forth, with war around us. It can't go. I just bless the name of the Lord. I am overwhelmed. It gives me more confidence in this God. And it also tells me that what we are doing here, we are not joking. You know, some of these people believe God is not even there. Yes. The cultic pastors, they don't even believe that God is there. Yes. God wants to show them he is there. Yes. And they will face the repercussion. Amen. Yes, our brother there. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. For me, I, nothing can be more practical like this revelation. Because coming from a political class, I have been following this development. I also know for one that God loves Nigeria and that the revelation God has been given pertaining revival that will begin in Africa and that Nigeria here it will start can never be false. And if there is a revelation like this, all we need to do is to wait and see the hand of God. Because these people operate in the same manner. They all belong to the same circle. It is disagreement within themselves that will want to move them. It is all the hand of Satan. It is so practical. The revelation is so, the reality is so manifest, so glaring. And nobody who listens to this revelation will doubt it at all. Nobody. I was so convinced beyond measure that there is, there is more to it than what Kano is doing that there is more to it, where he got the courage, the boldness to do what he's doing was a matter for another day, and this is the day. So I think my own uh, request is that this should be followed up with prayers, sure. fervent prayers. Sure. Praise the Lord. The Lord preceded it with prayers, and more prayers are still ahead of us. Praise the Lord. I believe the revelation. It is true. 
because last week I called my sister in Napa, and I was asking her about what is happening in Napa. He said that thing is fearful. Kanu don't have anything, but all these boys, he promised that he's going to give them cars. That was the promise, that all of them, he's going to send some abroad. He's going to do so many things. So that was why all their heads swell up. Even the children they are going to die, they say they are going to die. So I believe what mommy says. Okay, again, if you are looking at Carl when he's walking, you will know there's a power, not just him. Because if you look at him as a person, you won't say that. Thing. But when he's walking, you know there's something inside him that is working. So I believe that this is true because this thing started, okay, that thing not supposed to escalate to Abba. It started in Umwa here. All of a sudden, he pushed his boys to Abba. Those people now went to Abba and started it in Abba. And then from there, they were proceeding to uh, 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 Portacourt. So everything mommy said is true. They, and then she was telling me that though those boys have drank blood and tired of drinking blood, those his boys, they are no longer human beings. You might be seeing them as human beings. Even Kanda Koalu is not a human being because everybody is angry. You want to fight a war, you don't have a gun, you don't have anything. So how you want to plug Ibos into war? So in our but people were so afraid. So people stop coming. Even some people now don't tell themselves because already promised them heaven and earth is going to do for them. Somebody is promising you to give you a car. How many cars does he have? Then he promised all of you big, big cars, big, big houses, big people. That they was told him to tell lies. So that was why all of them were pushing, pushing and following him. So I believe everything mommy said. I thank God for this revelation. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Praise the Lord. You know, I'm thrilled. I'm flabbergasted. In fact, you know, when I came into Horimo and began to hear what the Lord is doing, the revelations, I just knew that nothing will happen to Nigeria because of Horimo. I just knew it. And when the Lord started talking about Erika, that because of him, Nigeria has not been destroyed, I believed it. So when I hear all these things and that, I don't care because I know the Lord will not allow anything to disturb this revival. You know, when I was in Port Harcourt, I began to listen to Radio Biafra. Someone introduced me to it. Dad, look at this man. I started to listen to Radio Biafra gradually. Mm. He would talk. So I, what, what made me to love Kanu was because of his boldness. I like people like that. His audacity, his, his, his zeal for what he stood for. And me, I, I, I like anything anything injustice I, I come against it because I know my father hates injustice but guess what when he got to the point of talking about God and all that he was saying this and that Kanu began to deny the deity of Christ I said no way I started I dialed the number that you could dial and call him I dialed and dialed nobody picked I wanted to ask him questions with scriptures uh, I wanted to ask him look at the scripture look at how can you say make Jesus look ordinary born by one woman called Mary. But I couldn't get it. That was where I had to repent. I said, Father, I'm sorry. Forgive me from today. No more read the Biafra. And from, from as time went on, I began to write. Because I write, I have a ministry on Facebook. That one is clear. Not too long, I wrote something against him and all that. Some people re uh, respond, ah, why are you talking like that? Blah, blah, blah. So recently, I was, I, I think sometimes when I pray, I received some ministrations. So I wanted to write something. The thing was very heavy to write on Facebook. And I had no time. And for me to hear what God has just spoken to us now is just unbelievable. God is truly here. I'm, I'm just thrilled. I, I'm dazed. I don't even know which vocab to use. God is with us. Please, I want to encourage us. Let's humble ourselves here. And allow God to prepare us. Because the Lord is coming. It's so clear. By the time this revelation goes on internet, oh Lord have mercy. <laughs> it's going to cause an explosion in their camp. People will be delivered. I'm telling you the truth. I was on the, I saw Facebook how young men have died because of Kano. Young men. So just kill them and line them up. I was so angry. I said, can you imagine? How? And he's still alive. If he claims that he's ready to die, why has he not died? Or any of his relatives. Have you heard that any of his relatives were arrested and tortured? No. But why are people, poor people dying because of this young man? Praise the Lord. I want to encourage my evil brethren here yeah, i thank god that god has given you understanding now because if you not too long some evil brethren we we supporting this thing in horemo in potato side they had to rebuke them by pastor chris i remember i think that they had to tell to warn them i'm telling you they will begin to support so even here in abuja there was time we we're talking about i said look no please don't don't bring biafra here don't don't try it here this is not this horemo 
Don't be anxious, be afraid. For, for the Lord to begin to reveal this, this is just unbelievable. I give God praise. I'm, I'm, I'm lifted in my spirit. I'm encouraged. Listen, don't keep quiet about this message. Don't keep quiet about this holiness message. Preach it like a madman, like the Lord told the Americans. See, we're enjoying hell. We're enjoying Nigeria. We're even here to... Look, if you, if you and I must succeed in this no-go areas about this message, break all their laws. I told myself, the day I was taking the Kaduna, the Lord gave me, I'll break the law of Kaduna and preach his gospel. They can't stop me. Because the Lord told American brethren, if you want to succeed with this message, break all their laws. Don't mind persecution, deportation, and imprisonment. The Lord grant us grace in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, sir. Praise the Lord. Just thank God for what God is doing among us. This is really God at work, and we want to praise his name for what he has done. Like our brother Baturi was saying, the man denied the deity of Jesus. He would definitely deny the deity of Jesus, having seen so many pastors mm. in his group. He saw so many pastors. And from what mommy said, he was shocked and said, then Jesus does not have power in the revelation. He was shocked to see so. So he will outrightly deny the deity of Jesus Christ. And uh, one strange thing I noticed that is Nigeria has constitution that whoever is trying to raise another government apart from the Vera government is chargeable to, for treasonable felony. They have tried. The constitution has no power here mm. to tell you that there is a power above the constitution coming from the spiritual realm. Because it's strange that somebody will just come up a young boy and be threatening the whole country. And one other thing also we discovered, there is a pastor, as you show us that time, who was saying the power behind this man is so much. That pastor from God, and it's on the net. The man placed it on the net, the message he preached, that the Lord revealed to him that there is, some, there is a power behind him, this young man, that dialogue is the only way. That is his own cancer. That dialogue is the only way. Federal government should dialogue with him because what is behind him is so strong. The message is on the net, which we listened to one time. The message of mommy to prove to us more that God is actually very interested in Nigeria. Because that pastor himself is encouraging them to support evil. By dialoguing, you are supporting evil. So that pastor may be with them. Yes. Thank you. He may be that is it. That's what I'm trying to point out. He also is he has information concerning them. And now he now says the Lord is telling him. So that is it. Then another one is that, you know, there are some people in Nigeria that have, uh, they live for a very long time. And the only way for them to have long longevity is by sacrifice. One of them is the one that was mentioned now. If the, the devil is telling them he will take their life now, they want to bring something that will cost many lives to cause them to live long. They are in Nigeria. Most Nigerian top leaders. So one of the ways now is to cause this to happen. So that blood will be given to the blood bank in the spirit realm and it will make them live longer. But to Satan, the desire of Satan is that many should rush to hellfire. Them, they don't understand. But what is inside Satan is that so many people will die quickly. They will not get this message, the revival that is going on, and that many will be rushed to hellfire. But we thank God that the Lord has stopped them. We thank God that God has actually stopped them. And it's also to quench holiness revival movement. That God has actually stopped them and they are defeated. Praise Master Jesus. We bless God for this revelation. It's an eye-opening revelation. When Biafra came up, rose up again by Inam Dikano, all the youths that were in the church were willing to join the army. Even me, I was willing to join their army to fight. <laughs> but my dad was one of those who built one of the provinces in Biafra land. But I bless God that today I am one of the persons that is standing to say Biafra is bad. I thank God for this revelation because when I was following Radio Biafra, I had Namdi clearly said that Apostle Paul is a madman. Was a madman. Yes. That, that madman that came and spoiled everything. 
That was what he called Apostle Paul. Onyaranho. That is that madman that came and spoiled everything. From that day, I crossed my heart that I will never stand for this That's again. That's Apostle Paul of the Bible. Yes. That he was a madman. So, I bless God for this revelation. Like mommy said, that him himself presently is afraid because of the blood that he's wasting, that he's afraid, he does not know what to do. It is now a point of challenge or responsibility to us to pray to God to make him more afraid that he would decide to back out from that agreement. Because once he backs out from it, it will be a disappointment to the devil. So let us pray more and commit him to God because the heart of the king is in the hand of God. He directs it to anywhere he wills. So let's pray and say, let God direct his heart and the Lord will do it in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Honestly, we are, we are really blessed on what the Lord is doing in our midst here. I want to thank God for his love over us, indeed. Uh, what uh, I understand and what I'm seeing here, one thing I, uh, I used to say in my former place where I live, you know, Igbos or brethren, the Igbo, they don't want to hear you talk anything bad about Biafra. But one thing I always stood for and I understand is that uh, there's a plan that God has for Nigeria. Even me, I know before coming to this uh, Horimo, I said, now, should God allow Biafra to stand? Let's assume that it happened. Nanja, uh, Nanja is parted. What will be the fate of the Christianity in the north? That is what I used to ask them. And because one of them did not understand, they will not give me any answer. But thanks to God, known to God are all his ways. Somebody is saying that, uh, like what the Lord, uh, our daddy is saying, uh, that God should open, that, that, that God is doing this to open, to save a race. What is a race? It's not even a race. That Satan is, is it only a race? Is this only the evil that Satan is concerned about? What Satan wants to quench is the purpose of God. They have seen it clearly. And that is holiness revival movement. They want to stop what God wants to do. And he cannot stop it. So my, my advice here also, like our brother said, is to pray more. Now we have seen it clearly that this man, from the onset, his will was not there. And how we mark his place of mercy? Because his will was not there. And I know that when we pray, by this revelation, he's going to mark his conversion. Because he has seen it clearly now. He has seen a moment in the revelation that this, this one is different. This one is different. That means the only place he will run into and be secure is in his holiness revival movement. That is only his refuge. And we are going to pray and I trust that God is going to do it. Let me tell us one thing. If this revelation comes up by his grace of God, a staunch Catholic man who believes in Biafra can never believe this revelation. That is true. It's only the one like uh, the message, the Bible clearly says that a, secret, uh, a carnal man can never understand the things of spirit. They will never, never understand. But by the time the Lord pulls in and the carnal out and bring him and he raises up and starts saying it, the whole, the whole world, the whole, the whole, they will fall. They will, they will believe. They will come out. And I trust God will do it. And that is what, I know that that's one of the things that God intended to do. And I know that God has given us Nigeria. The Lord has given us Nigeria. That's your, and whenever we pray about Nigeria, God will answer. Praise Master Jesus. Praise the Lord. In fact, we are blessed in this place, as if I had to say, because some time ago when I received that video about a pastor that was saying that we should negotiate with Nandikalo from what is following him, what he can see, he has seen doom, this and that, they don't negotiate. Later, they will come, Nigeria will come and beg, and it will be too late. When Pastor was talking, I, I said yes, because he said this, this, this is not the first video. He has done the first video, and this is the second video he's doing. That's part two of it, though I didn't watch the first video. Since then, there's a body in my heart. I said, God, how can people, those who will say that they are not really Christians or who are not really serving in holiness, how can they bring word for us to you know, begin to give us a prayer point concerning the nation. We know you are here. Why can't you reveal this thing to us? Because we know that you are with us, you are among us. So it has been a burden to me, it has been a, a prayer whenever I think about uh, Biafra, whatever, whatever. 
I begin to say, how can, I, how can we be praying and using people's you know, prayer points? Why can't God do this? Thing? So this morning, when mommy was giving this reverence, I was so full of joy. And last week, when I went to Abba, I got there, see youths, many youths. You see them with one van. Before you, from here, you move to another place. You see another people van, all covered with, you know, this, their flags and everything, their clothes and everything. They were so zealous on this thing. All of them, you see them moving around anyhow. They don't fear, they don't fear anybody. They don't fear even the police or the army. And the road there, there are army everywhere, but they don't, they're not, they're not afraid. When they have a barrier, all of them will come out like this with their uniforms. You know that these are the people. They will drive anyhow and move. And then they are keep, keep making people to, their heart will be keep failing whenever they come out and they are ready for anything. The one time I went to Portacourt, that was last year. And my elder brother is staying in Patakot. So he tuned to Radio Biafra. I was opportune to listen to it. And what I heard there was so much. The way they abused the government, they abuse everybody, they abuse uh, the, 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 the people, the, the Igbos in power in Nigeria, those, those Igbo leaders. They say anybody that works for Nigeria will never succeed. That if you work for Nigeria and if you don't work for them as Biafrans, your work is being vain. They begin to name some names, those who have worked for Nigeria, what is their end today, what is their, you know, but those who have worked for Biafra, you know, like, uh, uh, like uh, um, what is his name now? Ojuku, how he is now being glorified, the way they worship him on earth, the way they worship him. So they begin to castigate people who are not on their side, make people to feel like they are the real people that Jesus is with them, God is with them, and all that. So it's something, it's something else. And when it comes to, in terms of a um, religion issue, they see him as a god. They see him as a god. They, be, they worship him. My brother told me that the way the IPOP members, there's one they call the, they're the real men, the real difference now, the, the, the members actually, they are the one called IPOP. And before you can join the IPOP, you have to come with a sacrifice. They initiate you. And once they initiate you in that IPOP, you're a member of IPOP, you are ready to die for Biafra. Just you have sacrificed yourself to be. So, but they can just be ordinary follower, they are following follower. But the IPOP, they are very strong. There is that one that take control. When, when um, um, Inandi was arrested, they were the one managing the radio station, doing everything, and everything was going smoothly. People are calling from all parts of the world, all over. I was hearing it, and they were saying many things. So, I thank God so much that God has given us this revelation. And what in again, I'm somehow beginning to, you know, I'm feeling that God should give us the grace and to pray. That when the time by time this thing will be released out, it's going to be a heavy challenge to Nigeria because I know the Igbo people they believe on this man so much. They worship him. They worship him. I saw one of his videos when he went to the village inside, uh, I think in a, in, a, in a bush to go and worship the ancestor or something like that. He doesn't believe in Jesus. He said Jesus is not a, he's not the son of God. He's a prophet. We should not whatever he came to do is on his own. So. We, we are the Jews. They say he is the Jews, and he's, you know, he came from the Jews, that the, the, the Igbos are the, Igbo, uh, the Jews. So they believe in the worship of Judaism. That's what he practiced. And these things are things that can turn the Igbo race at the end of when he established them. I don't know how Igbo race will be like at the end of the day. So my prayer is that how God will help us to circulate this message, that it will go and to break down all this Faith he has built in, in, in the Igbo land and so many other people because they see him as a God. They see him practically as whenever he comes out, they worship him. He speaks as he's speaking, they are blowing those, uh, those traditional whistle on him. Like when the masquerade is coming out, there's a uh, orja, something like that. The Igbo men, they, they play. So the team follows him, and that thing is, is, is inspired by the spirit. When they blow, the spirit are inspired. So, person that got a title or a masquerade. So when he wears masquerade, uh, those native masquerade, and they blow those orja, the orja now will give the masquerade power, and whatever the man that wears the, whatever, the man that wears the masquerade, whatever he does, is, the spirit is using him to do. So that's what, they, when he speaks, they blow that in. So those spirits are always around him to tell him what to do, give him revelation, he speaks, and whatever he speaks, come to pass. It's okay, the next person. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. Because of what? 
if you want to touch the anointed of the Lord, you will face God. We have seen it practically in Psalm 2. When the kings of the earth, they rose up against God and against his anointed. The Bible says, he that seated in the heaven will laugh. Amen. Amen. So, and he will have them in derison. Yes. Yes. So, as we are talking now, they, have temp they are trying to temper with the revival of the war. And also to cut out the anointed of the Lord. And the Lord is going to fight them in Jesus' name. Amen. This revival, nothing will stop it. I used to say this, that this thing that is coming up is against the revival that has started in Nigeria. Just look, else, as in look. Look around and tell me where you see genuine Christianity that is without hypocrisy. Those that are doing hypocrisy, as in they know themselves because they are children of, uh, of hell. But look at it. Just look at it. You know that God has raised holiness of our movement for a purpose. And the wind has blown. We are, we, we are praying that let the wind blow and the wind has blown and we have seen the annals of the cock. And now, the judgment, they will face the judgment of God is going to be hard upon them in Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. The second one again that we are saying, the, uh, this agitation is being backed up by some physical things. Physical reasons. If you look at the situation of the country, you will cry that let God do something. As I'm talking to you, the road to my village is a death trap. Any time I am going there, it is, it is giving me a heart attack. That why? It's as if there are no people. It's as if we don't have government. What is really happening? Go to the hospitals. The way the road is so rotten, that's how the hospitals are. What of the schools? Children are dying, and some few group of people sat upon the resources of the nation, and they are enjoying it for themselves. You look at them, their children with school abroad, it thinks they are living in serious uh, flamboyancy and this thing. And while the masses are suffering, if you check it very well, the masses that are supporting this move like this is because of what they have seen. They, have, they are suffering many things. And these people will, will come out crying. You'll be thinking as if liberation has come. Let this one happen. Let this one happen so that we will be liberated. They, they, we, I can see the voice of a, a millions of people crying for liberation. And that brings me to, to a prayer. We have to rise up and pray. Crying pray. to the wrong people. Yes, crying. Instead of crying to God, yes. crying for righteousness, mm. they are crying to demonic men. Yes. It's as when your enemies put on soldier uniform and comes to the village and to redeem, and as if to redeem you, yes. but they are, they are the enemies to kill you. That's and you are running back to their hands. Yes. That's the terrible things Nigerians must awake to. Yes, sir. So I must be aware finally. of it is my prayer finally that the Lord will arise in judgment. There are some people, they, uh, I don't know, but it's as if they have stayed too much. Let the Lord look into our government. Let the judgment start coming upon those people that are sitting on trillions. When we, if they release the names of looters in this country, you will wonder, one person is sitting about 3.6 billion US dollars 3.6 Co convert that money to Nigerian Naira you will see eh? one person and eh, 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 the one in America the one that is stuck in Saudi the one that is stuck there and people are suffering Nigeria is a stinkingly rich nation and these few people they will keep on causing causing trouble the masses should be dying just as they say sacrifice so that they will continue they will continue let the Lord arise in judgment. We want to hear something so that we will glorify the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. This revelation is really an eye-opener and calls for more and more prayers to be done. Amen. 
because I, I see a generation of young people going towards instinction. The devil wants to wipe out the generation of the young people and finish the, the, the life of people and send them to hell. Because when, uh, if you just look at the similarity, when Boko Haram started, it started like uh, just within small group. Before you know, the government sent uh, troops there. When they sent troops there and uh, the troops disturbed some of them and killed their leader, before you know, it, it grew to an uncontrollable society. And these things, we see that the hands of even the, 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 the late uh, president Abacha said that. He said, any crisis in the country you see lasts more than 24 hours. The, the hands of government is inside. That's what he says. Any crisis in Nigeria that lasts more than 24 hours, there is a hands of government. There is no or high way, authority. Or high authority. Meaning authority. Yes, that are inside controlling these things. So, because you see, uh, when this Biafra Inam de Kanus uh, started this thing, many people really unknowingly involved themselves into it. Involve themselves, start preaching the, 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 the gospel of Biafra. And all over, that's how the thing went, it, it spread everywhere. And uh, I'm looking at it also that the devil sees this opportunity to cause harm on the revival that is going on. Keeping the people in the south very busy concerning Biafra, forgetting about the gospel and everything. And I once told somebody that, see, just look at it commonly with your common sense. You can never say an evil man, by the nature the God made them, an evil man cannot live secluded between themselves. Because if they woke up one day, nobody will be existing. On their own, they will just kill themselves there. God has made them to, to live among people. God has made, if you look, if you go to Kaduna, a, a whole area is, is given to an evil, evil, evil people. A whole area, the society and everything, they are there. Everywhere you go, I was even telling the person, I said, if you go to a place you did not see an evil man, run away from that place. Because that place is not worth living. God has already placed the virtue on them to live among people. But for you to say, go to your own side, secluded, how many land will they share there? How many, how will they do their business there? What, so the things, you, you, you see that the devil has so much deceived this person. This man and the devil gave him the mandate to do evil. And we now that the Lord is revealing this to us, is forced to cause the salvation of this uh, uh, man. The Lord should bring him out. Since the Lord has revealed that him himself is afraid. He said, this is not what I have bargained for. The Lord will cause him to come out and say the truth. And, and his mouth will confess Jesus that he wants denied. And those people that are championing this thing, as uh, Trump released the names of uh, uh, looters in Nigeria, these present ones, that the Lord also will release their names to the world, that Nigeria will be in peace. In Jesus' name.